Okay, we are back. So now we're in the final stretch, and we've got three things we'd like to cover some. So first there is using GPUs. And next there is um, parallelization. And both of these are basically very small incremental improvements over what we've done already. So yes, and yeah, yeah, and all of these can be also included with the array statement. So basically, because the array statement is basically like copy paste the same thing that we like do the same thing over and over again. All of the requirements specified in these uh, GPU requirements in these uh, parallel stuff mm -hmm. they can also be used with the array construct as well. But basically, everything is a serial like uh, extension of the serial job. You just add a bit more information there for the slurm and it will figure mm -hmm. out the stuff itself. Yeah. So let's take a look, I guess. Once I get the page ready. So GPU stuff. Yeah, so so the GPU stuff is, is a bit complicated because like stuff usually isn't automatically it doesn't work with the GPUs. It's not like a magic word that you can mm -hmm. like put mm -hmm there and, and it will run faster. There's lots of hype around GPUs and lots of promise around GPUs and lots of use around GPUs, but it's not like a magic, like it's not something you can do for everything. Yeah. The so code if, needs to be written in a way that it can use GPUs. Yeah. So if the code doesn't specifically say GPU on it, no. Yeah. It, then it doesn't work with GPUs. So, so we we should uh, like also uh, make certain that people understand that the GPUs in Triton they are NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, so they use this CUDA framework on the background. So this CUDA framework is written by NVIDIA, and it is basically like a library that has lots of different operations like matrix multiplications and stuff like that. Does lots of libraries that. Uh, computational codes can use on the background and the CUDA does the discussion between the GPU and the the what the user wants or what the code wants. Mm -hmm. There's also like in the Lumi computers uh, in CSC there will be these AMD GPUs that use this ROCKM platform mm -hmm. that's basically different libraries. It's a similar kind of thing with the CUDA so it's it's like libraries written by the manufacturers mm -hmm. In this, in our case, in Nvidia, in in uh, Lumi, it will be AMD. In Puhti, if you're running, they use also Nvidia GPUs. So it, you need to have code that is written for these specific uh, libraries, or it won't work. Um, yeah. we will be uh, searching for, uh, like, we will probably at some point purchase some of the AMD GPUs as well, but currently there's no uh, mm -hmm. time of arrival or anything like that. Yeah. But once you, uh, if you need to uh, ask for a GPU, like if your code, you know that your code uses GPUs, it can utilize GPUs, you want to use GPUs in Triton, what you need to do is basically add this one line uh, <laughs> that Richard has uh, here. So this grace uh, or generic resource and you tell it that I want to want GPU. So so basically here uh, you will tell uh, what you need to, well, what you want. Uh, you can ask for more than one GPU, but usually it's not worth the effort because GPUs, these GPUs especially, they are very, very efficient, very, very fast. And what that means is that uh, you usually need to have like a bunch of CPUs uh, to feed data to these GPUs. Some physics code can work with multiple GPUs without that, that much of a hassle, but most of the time you can't run uh, with multiple GPUs and expect the speed yeah. to grow up. You mm -hmm. need to do specific tricks to get, get it yeah. faster because the GPUs are so fast that mm -hmm. the CPUs and the storage can't uh, keep up. Yeah. And then that's basically it, I guess. So you say you want the GPU, and then it's up to you to figure out how your code works with it, which hopefully yeah. it makes it clear. Uh, one thing you might need to do is, is uh, if you are writing your code yourself, or if your code depends on certain 
uh, generation of GPUs, you need to specify this constraint. This constraint can also be done with the CPUs. So we have these different CPUs, like uh, we showed with the partitions or features command, where you have these AVX features. Uh, you can you can also set constraint on the GPU generation. So the Kepler generation is the oldest one. We have few of those still left. Then there's the Pascal generation that was the previous. Well, well after Kepler came Pascal, then came the Volta, and now is Ampere. But we don't still yet have Ampere uh, GPUs. But we have a uh, main of most of our GPUs are Volta GPUs, but we also have a lot of Pascal GPUs and we have some Kepler GPUs. Mm -hmm. If you know that your code requires certain uh, like kind of a GPU or certain kind, uh, well, one of the recent mm -hmm. ones or something like that, you should specify with this constraint option. So mm -hmm. is batch constraint similar as other uh, Slogram directives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how we pick a certain one. Next up on the page um, is frameworks, or is there something? Yeah, uh, yeah, about the frameworks that most of the, like we have already, like most of the people uh, who work with GPUs work with either TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch, or uh, MATLAB GPU arrays. Those are probably the most popular ones. Uh, so deep learning is very popular, but there's also people who do uh, GPU offloading with uh, with physics codes and stuff like that. And those, we all also have already installed versions uh, of CP2K, for example, or Py, Py G4. But, mm. uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so many, many <laughs> use cases use Python. Mm -hmm. And in those use cases, we already have these installed in the mm -hmm. Uh, Anaconda modules, installing them yourself can be a bit of a hassle. So I wouldn't recommend it mm -hmm. because uh, you need to specify the correct versions of the, the CUDA packages so that everything works together. Yeah. But we already have these installed. And if you need help with your own environment, let mm -hmm. us uh, ask us. But uh, if you if you find it in, in Triton already in the applications, you should probably use that. Mm -hmm. OK. And if you need to compile your own CUDA code, I mean, first off, who would need yeah. to compile their own CUDA code? Well, the mainly mainly their own the people who need their own CUDA code is that who have written some extensions, uh, CUDA extensions to the uh, already existing frameworks like TensorFlow, their own kernels or something like that, uh, or people who do like their own uh, C code that. Uh, mm -hmm. their own C, C code for um, uh, physics mm -hmm. programs or stuff like that. So if you need to compile your own code, it's basically you need to load the CUDA, correct CUDA module and then uh, compile with the CUDA compiler, the NVCC. And uh, you, can, you can do it. But most of the time, people don't need it. Mm -hmm. But if you need it, then you should, well, use it. Yeah. <laughs> This, okay. uh, this way. If, if you're using already existing frameworks like Anaconda, you don't need to know load the CUDA modules because those yeah. environments already come with the CUDA modules. See more information on the ac actual application page. Yeah. OK. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So there's that. Yeah. The error that, that's mentioned there, the leap CUDA uh, SO1 cannot open shared file object. That means that you're not running it in a GPU-enabled mm -hmm. program uh, or, or node. So if you are trying to run GPU code on, let's say, login node, it won't work because there's no mm -hmm. GPUs on the login node. Uh, you should reserve a GPU resource for yourself right. to, to run mm -hmm. uh, run it. Yeah. So this, that's not going to work. This often happens when people try to test on the login node and see it doesn't work and well. Too yes. Bad. So so. Whenever you're running in in Triton, you can also use the S batch. Uh, so, sorry, the Gress requirement with the S run command. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to run something on the GPU node and just try it out, you can also use the S run. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, below here, we we don't necessarily need to go through them, but you can if you are going know that yeah. you're going to be working with one of these uh, one of these uh, environments. There's an example, for example, from TensorFlow's tutorials, how to use, how to run Keras code on, on GPUs. Mm -hmm. uh, 
both in Esran and in Espatch or PyTorch. Yeah. There's also PyTorch example and CNTK example if you're doing this deep learning mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So is there anything here we need to go over? These seem to be basically download and run. It shows the different yes. examples here and running it with uh, srun and all that. So, yeah, yeah. Only thing you might need to, like what is important is, is if you go a bit below is how to monitor the GPU usage. Mm. So like I mentioned that the GPUs in Triton, they're very, very uh, fast. So what usually happens is that if you run a similar kind of code that you run on uh, on your workstation or somewhere, it doesn't necessarily run uh, with full utilization in Triton. So this can happen through multiple reasons. The most common is that the GPU is not fed enough data. Uh, mm. So the GPU is not fully utilize, utilized. And mm. to, to monitor this, you can use this, uh, you can use this S act. Uh, J job ID comment, and uh, uh, we have this uh, like automatic uh, script that sets to this comment field the GPU utilization of mm -hmm. the GPU job. So after you have run a mm -hmm. GPU job, you should check what is the GPU utilization, yeah. because many times it can be in like low single digit, uh, se low uh, second, <laughs> yeah. like Sing well, like tw yeah. ten to. 20% or 30%. So so basically, uh, there might be a situation where there's efficiency, efficiency that can be uh, gained mm -hmm. by running the GPU, uh, well, modifying the stuff around the GPU uh, so that you utilize the local disks, for example, yeah. for caching the data or have enough data loaders for the mm -hmm. GPU so that GPUs can get enough stuff done. Yeah. Once I remember, we did some calculation of the overall efficiency of GPUs, and throughout all of Triton, there was about 50%. And there was basically one person who was using half the GPUs with <coughs> almost 100% efficiency. So it's not too hard to do the mental calculations and realize that most people were basically not using them. And this is like yes, an actually so... very hard problem. So. When you're using GPUs, if you see it low, it's worth asking us for help. We have people that can help improve your code directly and help you get it yeah, running. Yeah, so, so, so it's like, even if you don't necessarily need to learn how to program for GPUs, like, I mean, like learning how to CUDA code and write C code and stuff like that, you still need to usually uh, learn how to program around the GPUs. Uh, so, so even if your framework supports using GPUs, you mm -hmm. need to support that framework usually by using the local disks, using uh, multi multi processing to to read the data in and everything mm -hmm. like that. Because the GPUs are so hungry for data and, mm -hmm. and so hungry for running stuff, they can mm -hmm. they are so fast that it's really hard to keep them occupied. And and mm -hmm. we usually recommend that if you're doing like development stuff. Uh, you do it on uh, somewhere around your workstation, maybe in an interactive session sometimes, or S run, mm -hmm. uh, or on the on the uh, any, uh, the VDI machines. Mm -hmm. But once you know that your model works, then you run it in S batch, and then you check what what's the performance, and then once it like you mm -hmm. see what the performance is, you then scale it up. Because with the GPUs, the development cycle is is a bit longer because you usually need to do this kind of a uh, fine tuning to get it run properly. So, so if you see like papers where Google has done some uh, model, they have done some specific like very fancy deep learning model or something like like DeepMind has done. They mm -hmm. they have very sophisticated. Uh, procedures on how to load the data in and how to process the data and how to run the stuff uh, with multiple GPUs so that the uh, they actually get the performance because if you're going to be running it like just like running it it will take you years to run the same models and it's it's better to usually design the the code properly and ask us before you <laughs> well, run into a problem where you yeah. don't get the performance that you need. 
Ja. Yeah. Okay. So here we see the different GPUs we have available. Is this up to date even? Maybe. Um, yeah, I think looks, this okay. one TP, DGX node. So we have also have like these DGX nodes that are, they run the Ubuntu system. So they are a bit different, but these are bought by uh, certain research groups. So these are these have very heavy for, for running big parallel mm -hmm. GPU jobs, very big uh, GPU systems. They are also available via these singularity containers to other users, but uh, they, they are the, the people who have bought them have priority on them. So if you're going to be using them, then do note that your jobs might be thrown out because the other people mm -hmm. uh, have the priority because they have paid for them. Yeah. But, um, but they are also available if you want to do multi-GPU processing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. OK. So which of these exercises should we go over? I think we uh, or examples. We could run the exercise one, for example, mm -hmm. uh, quickly, like people could try it out. Uh, it's very simple exercise. Uh, do note that it might be a situation, especially if you're now submitting jobs, you should specify a, like a short time limit because the GPs are also mm -hmm. very often uh, need like mm -hmm. desired uh, commod commodity mm -hmm. so so people they are them are yeah. well most heavily requested here like mm -hmm. stuff in in our system yeah so so uh, when you request uh, or submit a job that requires a gpu it's very important to put the re resource requirements correct mm -hmm. because otherwise you will wait in the queue for a bit longer time but yeah i think we should have like maybe to five to half yeah. so yeah 25 past so two. okay and is that enough time for parallel and then the demos at the end i think it is okay what well, should be probably yeah so my yeah i'd sort of hesitant to run this command here because usernames or something might show up on the screen which I've been trying to avoid. So, yeah, well, should we have the short exercise time and we'll see what happens and resume at 25? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so so you can run the, the first example, first exercise, and if you have time, run the second exercise where you compile this code or try one of those uh, GPU mm -hmm. uh, models. The samples up, above. Upper. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the samples are fun. See you soon.